welcome everyone to episode 60 of Just Joshing. How you do? Um, I write stuff. I podcast too, and I also publicize. Coming soon to Amazon is Craig DeLuis third book, Babel Stations. It'll be it's available for pre order right now at Amazon.com and you should definitely check it out. You order it. You know, he's looking for reviews as well. Contact me if you wish at the end of the show or if you want ARC for review. Uh, beyond all that, uh, check out also the fact that his paperback books for Crash Dive and Silent Running are coming soon to trade paperback. Crash Dive is launching in this November. Check it out. My other client, Chris Mars, has launching her next book with Gene Collin and called Entangled Souls. A collector's edition will be available soon. Um, beyond all that, you can check her out at HauntedMars.com, H-A-U-N-T-E-D-M-A-R-R-S.com. All right, so what have I been doing? I've been creating a YouTube archive. So currently, you can see Virginia Caraway Sark, my dad, and Claire Marshall are now officially on the archive. More episodes will be added as time goes on. Um, it's because, it's been slow because YouTube takes a long time to upload. I'm kind of like, I don't want to do it, but I'm doing it, and, and yeah, so, it, it honestly, it's something I'm long overdue doing, but, you know, it is what it is. I'm about to do a road trip. Um, as of right this minute, I am not sure about C4. Um, the opportunity to, to um, go back to C4 has just been presented to me. Um, but we kind of already made some plans post C4 and I also kind of want to see my family. I'm not quite sure I'm going to do all that yet and I got to really look into that tomorrow. So as soon as this episode's over, I'm going straight to bed and kind of just, you know, contemplating life, the universe and everything. Um, I'd love to go on a trip. I'm on vacation in two days and uh, I'm all, like I said, I'm coming prepared though. I'm taking a tablet with me so I can do the podcast as needed. I'm um, taking some recording equipment. There's a person I would love to interview while I'm on the road. And if I can get my hand... If I can see them, they will definitely be on this podcast. They're one of the two exceptions I will actually contact for the remainder of this year for the podcast. Beyond all that, though, all the episodes are pretty much recorded for the rest of the year. Um, my guest is this week is H. Layton Dixon. Sorry, just sounded that better. H. Layton Dixon. Um, really cool person. I kind of met her by accident at When Words Collide. Uh, she was not, I guess, I intended to interview initially. Um, I'm glad I did. She's really fun. And, uh, yeah, I'm kind of hoping to see more of her books. She's really, really good. Uh, I got to talk with her about some really fun stuff, like the old DC Comics days. And, like I said, she's just a really, really, really cool individual. And, uh, you know, it's definitely someone you should check out. Um, writing-wise, um, I've also just launched my newsletter. And I should, you know, advertise that before I get into the show. And that's, uh... WorldWideWeb.tinyletter.com slash J Pentelaresco J P A N T A L L E R E S C O. Uh, what am I? I'm kind of doing this for fun. Um, newsletters. Every author's got a newsletter these days. Um, if I was going to do it, I want to do it a little differently. Don't get me wrong. I'm still going to be promoting my stuff on there, but I'm also going to do some really fun stuff. Like I'm going to write about things I normally wouldn't write about and. You know, just in general, do some fun things to reward people who follow the newsletter. So sign up. Um, I won't sell your information to anybody. It, it really is just about me keeping in contact with you and just doing different things. All right. I think that's it for now. Let's go on to the uh, regular scheduled ad, and then we'll get right into the show. All right. We'll be back right after this message. Tired of buying t-shirts, coffee cups, and other memorabilia that all podcasts seem to have? I sincerely hope not, because I'm jumping aboard this gravy train right now. That's right. You can be the proud owner of a Just Joshing t-shirt, photographic print, and coffee cup at my Red Bubble store. Red Bubble has one-click ordering and will ship anywhere in North America. Check out http worldwideweb.redbubble.com slash people slash J Penn Teleresco for more details. There's that. Woohoo. Okay. Get out of my hair to <clears throat> get all the red get all the red part out of this yep. thing. But uh, so Heather Dixon? Yes. Is, is, is that your actual That's my, my real name's Heather Dixon. Layton is my middle name, but there's already a, a 
successful fantasy author called Heather Dixon, but with an X. So, 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 so how you, Heather, Heather Layton? H. Layton Dixon. H. Layton Dixon? Yeah, is, yeah. That, is that what you want? Yeah, okay. Yeah. So I am with the one and only H. Layton Dixon. How are you doing? I'm great today. How are you? I am so tired. Day three of the con, so I'm so tired. <laughs> yeah, I hear you. Yeah, so so you're from, I, from my, your tag says you're from Thunder Bay. I'm from Thunder Bay, northwestern so, Ontario. Yeah. Yes, yeah. I've been there once or twice. It's yeah. very nice. It's like a nice spot in the middle of all Nowhere. those streets. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's, yeah, it's in the middle of the wild. It's the middle yeah. of the Canadian Shield. So that has a very different identity than Calgary or Toronto or any other place. In yeah, Canada. yeah. No, I, it's actually my like when I when from a driving traveling point yeah. of view, mm -hmm. that's my second favorite part of the country to actually go through. Yeah. It's, it's beautiful. It is. It's really beautiful. Yeah. And yeah. the only other thing, if you haven't been out west, you gotta do Calgary, Vancouver. Yeah. Once is gorgeous. I think I did that when I was a child. Like obviously, I like as a road trip with my family, but I don't remember very much of it. I remember stopping in Banff thinking it was really stinky but I was probably eight you know That's awesome. <laughs> so, I know. but I want to go back now because yeah I, it just it's so magical uh, no no yeah. it, it's beautiful out here it's yeah. one thing that's one thing about here is really really beautiful yeah. so you are so how'd you get into writing and just something that just happened recently or uh, no no um I've believe it or not I've always written I'm one of those kids that was always a reader um, and so like when I was little I would write stories about hamsters and ponies and things like that um, and then I I'm also an artist my mom's an art and drama teacher oh, and right. a painter so I also always grew up with a pencil or a paintbrush in my hand so I started reading comics penciling comics got a job with DC comics um, and oh really? And, what, what, and you, so, what, what, what have you done? Uh, it's very very small run. <laughs> no, it doesn't, it was, that doesn't. No, no. Back in the day, it was Elvira's House of Mystery and New Town Showcase. Yeah, I, I remember yeah. those. Yeah. Like, I, I've been reading comics since 1990. Okay, yeah. So yeah. I like when I was when yeah. I was when I was, when I was, when I was a kid. Those would be vintage <laughs> by well, 1990. Yeah, yeah, but no, I yeah. but no, no, because that was that was like in my opinion that was one of the, like yeah. you were in one of the coolest areas of comics. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah it was really interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You were in the coolest areas of comics, like. Of I think it was like 86, 87 kind of thing. Well, for me, it was it was before that. It was before it was actually I kind of put myself through university, so early 80s. Oh, so yes. right before crisis. Yes. Uh, yes. Yeah. yeah. You were in my favorite comic reading period yeah. is 1986. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's yeah. my favorite yeah. because yeah. that's when there was all kinds of uh, like uh, chances being taken. But you yeah. were interesting too because that era is interesting too because that is the end. The true end of the Silver Age, yeah, right yeah, there. Exactly. You, you actually saw the end of that, and you saw the, the start. That's the, right, the beginning, and and that's that's sort of why I ended up getting out of it because they they did kind of they were making big changes and they closed up the new talent program, so we kind of got evaporated. My my handler, my boss got fired, Sal Amendola, and uh, so then like all of us who had been selected, so cool. um, kind of were let go. So, <laughs> but but anyway, what, to the books. I mean that the comics were what sort of started the books because yeah, yeah. I was planning on doing a graphic novel, yeah. and this is when graphic novels were just sort of starting up, right? Yeah. And just like phenomenal, fascinating, um, new avenue to, to communicate. Um, and so I was planning a graphic novel called To Journey in the Year of the Tiger, and it just kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger. So I thought, you know, I'll we'll put the pencils aside and just concentrate on the story, and that eventually became my novels so um, yeah but then of course you know life happens and you finish university and you go on to your job and I'm a zoologist so you know go to Edinburgh work in the zoo there you know but, get married have kids and all that kind of gets put on the sideline but so, um, so you so you have an awesome day job like one of the coolest ones in the world yeah, I'm not working as, in zoology right now I'm yeah. a Photoshop guru Photoshop Ooh. girl, yeah. So, uh, yeah, I know that's just how funny life is, right? You know, well, like, well, it's, it, it's 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 okay. This is me. Like, I yeah. I, I, I write. Yeah. I I, I podcast. That's yeah. what this is. Yeah. I also am a publicist now. Yeah. That kind of yeah. fell into my lap. Yeah. And what happens? What I notice with life is, if you use your talents, doors open. Yeah. That's just that's just how yeah. it works. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's magic, that's right? right? Yeah. That's the magic of life. So this, like yeah. Photoshop. Yeah. Photoshop, like, like probably came from. You pencil Photoshop. If Photoshop's the modern tool for it, absolutely, uh, right, right. Yeah. And I have a little like my uh, Adobe expertise is in design. Okay, so much yep, yep, that's right, yeah, Very handy program too, but they're not yeah, very not different. The same. That's no, right, very, yeah, very different yeah, too. Yeah. Um, but um, the th the thing of it is, you've been penciling stuff for, yeah. uh, and, and so it's a natural fit. Yeah. And if you're still working today, because the cool thing about Photoshop is yeah. you can layer back to like the detail. Now you can put into an, an image. It's yes. Incredible. 
I know. Incredible. It really is. I, I love it. And because I use a pen and like a yeah. stylus and a, and a so tablet. Do you, do you, so you, oh, you got a stylus. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, I, I cannot. I, I think I first, when I first sat on a computer, my husband's like, okay, this is going to be your job because you're artsy and this is going to be your job. I'm like, I, I can't do this. I need to do this. So we bought like the biggest tablet we could get with the, you know, Wacom, like it's huge, 18 inches. Fabulous. And, and it just went like that. Yeah. It's, it's like an extension now of my no. hand of my no no brain. no yeah. it, it, it makes sense yeah. could you work both back the old-fashioned way again oh, you... probably but i'm now very impatient <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> because like oh, okay that's not working delete that layer <laughs> well, <yeah. laughs> rather, than, rather than having to go back and oh, okay now i have to you know paint over that or j j j pencil over that yeah. although, although although just for fun at some, yeah. at some point down yeah. the road we'll get back to your books oh sure yeah, yeah. I, I oh yeah this is good. Yeah, 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 yeah but um you should do it just for fun because yeah. it, because the one like I've gone back like I am um, with writing writing yeah yeah back to notebooks really because, yeah, yeah because well a couple of reasons one I had an interesting condition okay happened to me earlier uh, earlier in the year and yeah. it, 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 it it's something kind of unique yeah. and um so I've gotten a little bit farther away from okay well my my publicist job was pushed me back into the realm of technology okay. but yeah. I have a fine one I find out when I write. I'm using a different part of my brain when okay. I'm not on the computer, yeah. right? So yeah, that's true. You know, yeah. it's a different part of my brain. It's yeah. a different exercise, and yeah. it, and it's almost like doing it. Like people are like, yeah, type it all up. Yeah. That, but on the same token, right? You still usually have to do like another draft yes, or a redraft for sure. anyway. Anyway, that's right. Yeah. Right. So I'm get so I, now I get to use another part of my yeah. brain to do that's, that. That's right? really smart, actually. That's, yeah. yeah, it's another part of my brain. So it's like. Part of my brain's like okay, the creative. Yeah. I, I'm fine. I'm not really. I'm not worried about errors and stuff anymore. Yeah. I'm saying with, with you, once as a once, like you shouldn't do it all the time. Yeah. Obviously, like like you can't compete with the depth you can do with Photoshop and this yeah. style. You can't yeah. do that. But once it's, in a yeah. once in a while, just as a fun little challenge, like let's see if I can do yeah. this. Still. Bring back those old skills because those are the fundamentals. Yeah. Right. It's yeah. like it's like airbrushing. If you don't actually know how to paint brush. You, you may be really super skilled at airbrushing, but there will always be something false about yeah, your work. Exactly. So, yeah, you do need those fundamentals. Yeah, yeah. Well, and, and, and it's not really taught very much. Again, fundamentals are going to alter, I think, in the yeah. next, like, 10 years. Because yeah, you're it, right. Because it's... Yeah. Fundamentals now has nothing to do... Like, like we, we live in such a contextual world in yeah, terms of, yeah. like, okay... Like, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring up a, a, a Pokemon Go real okay, quick. Okay, sure, Just cool. really, Because it, this actually is such a really cool example. Yeah. You play Pokemon Go, and it's literally like you're in two worlds. There's yeah. the real world, yeah. that is this, this world that we walk and talk yeah. and touch and yeah. interact and stuff. And then when you look at the Pokemon thing, you still got the screen, the yeah. mask. But it's yeah. a different world. You yeah. see Pokemon you have yeah. to catch and yeah. things like that. Same thing with, I, I mean, and this is a weird uh, thing, I'm sure, to some listeners. But when you look at a, a computer and an image, it's like a completely different world than a physical thing. Yeah. It's a different. It's a completely different tactile experience yes, and, yes, and a yes, completely different yes. uh, mental experience. Yeah. But that is the norm now, not the actual tactile. That's right. Yes, yeah. that's true. Yeah. 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 So that's going to be now the new fundamental. And it does fire different areas of your brain. So yeah. that'll be interesting to see how we, as a species, how our brain evolves uh, and, exactly. and adapts, how yeah. our bodies adapt to how our brain is evolving. Uh, yeah, exactly. That'll be really interesting. Well, next ten. Well. I had this conversation with Rob Sawyer on a podcast. It's like we, our technologies are getting smaller and more intricate yeah. and complex. Yeah. And I just saw like some of the panels I'm seeing today about in terms of identities, in terms of sexual yeah. stuff. One of the biggest questions coming up in the next ten years yeah. is what is human? Right. Yeah. That, that yeah. is actually yeah. that is actually yeah. the biggest, yeah. uh -huh. like the biggest philosophical question sure. yeah. coming up. Like, what is alive? What is yes. human? What yes. is they, yeah. We're, we're going to be re-examining yeah. yeah. that in the next 10, 20 yeah. years because yeah. that is the world we're yeah. going into. Yeah. We're dealing with smaller and smaller yeah. things. We are altering things on fundamental levels. I don't even think, we, to be honest with you, we fully understand. I saw a Rice University is playing with nanotechnology. Okay. Right? Yeah. 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 Turn on a switch and these spider webs come out. It is it yeah. is Frightening, actually. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Right, and and, we, and we're spraying this stuff in the sky. We're spraying this stuff everywhere yeah, now yeah. too. So it's like that's part. That's that's a new. That's a new part of nature. Like right? that's a tiny. Nano is a very yeah. tiny Ooh, scale, right? Actually, right. That thought because yeah. I think you just gave me a little plot. That's that's okay. Twist there, yeah. <laughs> that's cool. That is really good. Yeah. Because because the the nanites will become global. They are global already. They are global already. Right. Email that to myself. Yeah, yeah. Look up, like I said, Rice University has some amazing. Rice University. Yeah, Rice okay. University has some amazing stuff there. Um, mm. 
I have other reasons for looking into it, personal reasons, yeah. but it's just, it's just like there's, there are some really, we're doing some very fundamental shifts in the planet, and it's, okay. it's interesting, it's interesting to me to see we're not going big anymore. Big no, doesn't matter no, anymore. That's right, it's yeah. small. That size matters, but. That yeah, well, yeah, yeah, no, we're, we're, going, yeah. we're going atomic. We're going to go back yeah. to atomic yeah. and subatomic, yes. and yeah. that's yeah. that's where we're going. Yeah, that's and interesting. Yeah, so like, so now you got to re-examine like, not only what is a lie, what is yeah. human, but what yeah. is real. Yes. I mean, you yeah. that's that's. Yeah. I mean, the matrix. Yeah, sure. No, fan, you know, fantastic concept. Yeah. And that I like when you talked about Pokemon Go. I think that's fabulous because it is a blend of imagination and fantasy. In our real world, uh, exactly. No, no, absolutely, no, no, no. It, it's a neat. It's a neat. It's a. I have a game myself. I, yeah. it, the scary part to me, to me about that game is just how mapped out the oh, world okay. really is. Because <laughs> no, because you go to a Poke Stop, you see the place. It's, yeah. it's highlighted. Yeah. The buildings match up. I mean, it's like it's unbelievable. Yeah. Like that's information for a yeah. freaking game, right? Not, not, not even. Yeah. That's yeah. a game. Not, not for the CIA. <laughs> no, no, absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. And we're quite happy to give that information out for a game. Yeah, yeah no, it's, yeah. it's true. It's just like, it's unbelievable. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, and that's, that's a, uh, I didn't expect to talk about Pokemon Go with you. That's okay. Yeah, yeah. You play or no? I don't, but I'm, I'm a fan. Yeah. Like, because there's lots of, you know, people my age that are like all poo-poo. And I think, like, no, no, you, you need to, anything that engages the imagination is great. Let it go. Let them run. Let them have fun. It's it's just a, uh, a world of imagination that I would have loved if I was younger, you know? I probably would love now, but I'm very, um, I'm a person that it tends to be a little obsessive, so that if I like it, that's all I'll do, you know? <laughs> so I can't, you know, I'm very glad Game of Thrones is only 10 weeks, because that's all I would oh, do, you know? Like, no, 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 I, like, I'm paralyzed. I, I, I love something so much, I want to immerse myself but, in but, it. But, 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 me, that's why I don't have Netflix. I'm not old enough. Like, I, 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 oh, yeah, no, I, that's so funny, no, yeah. it's true yeah. because I, I, I when I have it happen to me, I, I did it twice. Yeah. First time was Daredevil. Yeah, yeah. Season one, I was yeah. like, this is. I'm watching it. It's like, this is yeah. it. Like, yeah. first yeah, I was good. good. Well done. I was yeah. well done. And then the next thing I know, it's six o'clock in the morning. I what the heck? I know. Yeah. It's like, I, this is my first binge watch. It. Yeah. I don't yes. watch TV. Yeah. Very, I don't watch. Do I. That's right. And the thing is, it hits us harder because we don't. I know. Yeah. So, um. So yeah. then I watch an anime series, Kill a Kill. I watch that. We watch the whole series yeah. and literally the whole day. And I'm like, I can't do this. I know. I can't. Yeah. I just, I, I just can't yeah. because if yeah. I do it, yeah. I'm gonna. I mean, maybe I'll get used to it. I, I don't want to tempt fate. No, no, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Because otherwise, you would end up stuck yeah. in your room forever. Yeah, you know, you would just be like that little room closeted person, and I don't want to be that. that well, yeah. no, it's, it's not that. I mean, I got so much on the go. I know. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I can't. Yeah. yeah. Right. So. Yeah. I mean, even video games. Like yeah. even video, like I, yeah. I, uh, I just got rid of a bunch of them yeah. because I just, and I didn't. I gave them pennies because I was like, I can't do this. Yeah. I mean, I binge video games. Is yeah. what I do yeah. now. I don't. Yeah. I don't. Yeah. I don't even. Um, I don't even. Um, yeah, I'll play like, like I'll do six hours one night, yeah. or maybe I'll do a whole day of it. Yeah. Then I put away for weeks, that's and then right. so then then that's, right, yeah. that's, that's, that's fine. That's like going on a holiday. Yeah, you know? exactly. no, that's, <laughs> that's it. Right. That's, that's right. But, yeah, no, yeah. it's it. That's it. And then yeah. so, and that's because I need like you need that you yeah. need that time where you're yeah. like, okay, I, I don't want to do anything. I yeah. just I just want to eat yeah. ice cream, drink yeah. Bailey's, and play video games or something like that. Like a great, yeah, yeah, great evening, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You're like I, I like that combo. I'm yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, video games. I mean, yeah. No, I I probably again that's the type of thing that when I when I did. It, it's immersive for me. It's it's. I, I don't want to come out of it. So it, again, yeah, you gotta leave certain things aside. You gotta so. be mature. I'm mature enough to realize yeah. I'm not mature enough for some of these there things. You go. That's, that's the right. thing. That's it. Then that's yeah. and that's that's just, how do you avoid temptation? Yeah. Like you, how do you, yeah. how you resist temptation? You just avoid it yeah. all together yeah. Yeah. because you just know. Yeah. Yeah. It's gonna blow up. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. And face. then your life will suffer. So. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. No. Yeah. Or no. Like I, I had this talk. Uh, I had this talk quite a few people. Your time is what matters yes, in life. That's absolutely. that's that's yeah. the important one. Yeah. Yeah. Everything else. Yeah. I mean. Yeah. I know. It's easy to say because I, I I'm, I'm a poor man, but money yeah. comes and goes. <laughs> right. It does. Yeah. You, you have another day to make money. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. You do. You don't have another day if you wasted that day. Yeah. That, it, that day is gone. Yeah. That's so, your real money. Yeah. Your real money is your time. Yes. That's that, your currency. Yeah. yeah. That's that's the real currency yeah. everybody yeah. has. Yeah. So if you don't. So yeah. I mean. Yeah. I, I mean. I, I I miss. I mean. Some things I I, I yeah. barely watch. Like the one thing I I used to watch as a kid. I don't watch. I watch. I barely watch pro wrestling anymore. And I and and I like. Um. And I used to watch hockey a lot. And yeah. I don't do. Yeah. Yeah. A long time. Yeah. Like I don't have yeah. the time I did when I was younger. Yeah. 
Um, the only reason I'm even in hockey at all is because yeah. a buddy of mine me do a hockey pool yeah. every yeah. year, and yeah. it's mostly because. Oh, that's I, funny. Well, no, just we've been doing it since high school, yeah. and, okay, and, and, and he's he's a good bud, yeah. and more than any, I mean, that's the biggest reason why I still do yeah. it. It's yeah, just, it's right. not yeah. another reason. Yeah. He's a good guy. Yeah. He's a good yeah. bud. And, but what you're doing is you're investing the time in him. Yeah, exactly. So that's not that's not a waste. No, it's not. Yeah. No, yeah. no, 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 no. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I, no. He's a good dude, and yeah. I'm hoping uh, he, he's doing well if he's listening to this. But, yeah. uh, but uh, no, it, it's just uh, one of those things where uh, you just you realize these things as you get older. It's like, well, I don't have time for this and yeah. this and this anymore. Yeah. I yeah. got if so I want to do this, I have to give up this, that's and that's right. and that, but that's not a bad thing. That's that's growing up. Yeah. Yeah. That's right, and that's okay. Yeah, that's okay. I, I know, like I love Peter Pan. Never grow up. Maybe in your imagination, never grow up. But at some point, growing up is really kind of important. Well, um, my own mentor said this, and this is something I did agree with. Everybody at some point has to grow up. Yeah. That doesn't mean, however, we have to grow old. Exactly. Yeah. That's true. That's in your brain. Yeah. That's in yeah, your yeah. mind. That's in your mind. Yeah. Uh, even in your body. Look, look yeah. when I'm 80 years old. Yeah. I am going to jump on a trampoline with a bunch yes, of little kids yes, when I'm 80. Yes. Why? Because yeah. I can. Yeah. I will need a nap maybe for three days afterwards. And <laughs> it I, might break a hip, but, <laughs> but hips, they're replaceable. Well, not, 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 not even so much that. So you only live once. <laughs> you only live once, right? That's right. No, I, if, I didn't, if I didn't, if I didn't yeah. do it, I would, I would wonder. And that's, yeah. and that's kind of the a kind, of th- kind of thing. And so it's why I do what I do. It, yeah. It's no other yeah. reason other yeah. than it's like... What can I do? What can yeah. I accomplish? Yeah. What can what can be made to yeah. happen? Yeah. You know yeah. I mean? And if your brain is young, and you keep your brain young, yeah, then everything else follows suit. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, everything else is fresh and strong, and yeah. Well, it's one of the reasons I do these conversations yeah. is because yeah. it's fun because I get to meet interesting people, and you yeah. are a very interesting person. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. And uh, we're going to talk about that necklace in a minute here because I'm kind of curious about. Ah, it. I'm okay. curious about Excellent. it, but yeah. but I just want to say no. The biggest story I've had doing this podcast, yeah. I've met some incredible people. Nice. I really, really have. So. Yeah, yeah. Very cool. The necklace is um, it's after the back of a 1773 watch really? from Paris, France. I bought it in Fremantle in Australia. Yeah, in a clockwork shop. See, now, see, I'm, I'm, I, I, I could be spending hours talking to you about your travels. You've, 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 you've traveled quite a bit. I've traveled a lot. Yeah. 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 Just yeah. more for the job, or just just so curiosity, or both. Curiosity. Curiosity. I, I love travel. I love exploring. Again, it's keeping your brain young, but I have that kind of wanderlust in, in me. So, I mean, like, I love to nest and I love I love my home and I love uh, where I live. But there's something out there. You know, there's always something else out there that I there haven't is, seen, that I haven't explored. There is, that there I, is more. There's, uh, there's always, always I know, more. I yeah. know. So that, that, that draws me out, you know? No, so, it, it's yeah. true. I, I'm actually... Um, one of the things I'm going to try to do next year is yeah. I actually want to do I want to take my books with me to England, just to England. Yeah. Well, I have yeah. well, yeah. for one yeah. simple reason yeah. I have I do know people there. Yeah. I have yeah. fans. Yeah. I actually have fans there, which is just unbelievable. No, it's awesome. Yeah, they'll it's unbelievable. Love, they'll put you up. They'll yeah. probably yeah. let you live in their house. Yeah, like, no, yeah. yeah, and then and then um, no, I'll show up. I'll I'll, I'll promote my books. I'll yeah. go to Ireland, meet my buddies, do this movie yeah. stuff up there, and then um and just just because I I want to do it. No other real reason. Hi, how are you doing? I'm doing good. I would love a glass of water and and a tea, a cup of black tea with milk and sugar. Yeah, sure. thank you. Yes, I can do that. So, but uh, no, it's just um, one of those things. Oh no, I'm not asking you to pay for it. No, I'll, I have money. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> yeah. But um, but no, it's just one of those things where um, like I, I I've explored most of North America because just my moves and my tr- like living yeah. just living situations. I've lived in Phoenix. I've lived here. I've lived in Detroit. I lived in Toronto. Yeah, I've, lived, yeah. I've got that. So I got a bit of that when I was younger. Yes, but now yeah. I'm like. Been here seven years. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I I want uh, I want to see more, and yeah. that's kind of where I'm at right yeah. now. So I, mean, I, I can use my yes. career to yeah. do this. I yeah. shall. That's yeah. right. I just came back from Ireland. I did a, a tour of Ireland with my oldest daughter, and we we went to um, we were at the Dingle Peninsula, just like the week after the Star Wars team left. Like we saw Skellig St. Michael's where, you know, Ray hands Luke the lightsaber. We saw where all the the new filming has just been done. So and that wasn't a Star Wars tour, I think. It was just No, it was just it's just, just, it just, it just, it just damn cool. It's when 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 worlds collide, right? Yeah, like yeah. Geek Fest, like huh, you know, look, 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 look. Like, we're driving past like click 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 that Skellig click 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 click. It was just yeah. No, it was a, great. Yeah. Fabulous. Yep. Man, I wish I talked to you earlier this weekend. <laughs> I, uh, you're you're awesome. You are awesome. 
<laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, no, like a long life and done a lot of stuff. So well, well, fun, no, yeah. you, you yeah. and, and just something I'm just saying, you're yeah. still young. Like, like, like no, no, no. Yeah. I mean, yeah. like here, yeah. you're you're very, you're very yeah. young. You're very yeah. active. You're engaged. Yeah. You're energized, yeah. and you're gonna be this way until I you. I think so. My mom is like that too. That's and yeah, yeah, she's she was an art and drama teacher, and then she got involved in politics. So like, she's like this political powerhouse and back in Thunder Bay. So yeah, you're gonna run out of batteries or something. Did that? Did that die? Oh, this one's not working. Oh, let's make sure. Here, real quick. That one's going. So, Good, okay. yeah, yeah. So, no, it's just like, it's like, it's like yeah. Well, so this would be investing in our friendship. That's that, no, well, yeah, which isn't, which isn't a terrible thing. I actually have a, I actually have a couple of things off the air I want to talk to you about too, because, sure. uh, because I just, because obviously yeah. it's, 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 it's cool. Um, but uh, no, um, one of the things. Uh, okay, you should probably at some point talk about your books a little bit, a little, a little, little bit. Well, although honestly, yeah, you're awesome. You really, are. no, you you really are. It's it's, it's it's really cool. So, yeah. Yay! Thank you. And I have a glass of water too. That can't be awesome. Thanks. Yes. Yeah. We are live, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see. But anyway, I'm having my cup of tea. That's right. Yeah. So, just a zoologist, dragon genius. Uh, you describe yourself as a dragon genius, right? Yes. Yes. So, 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 so where does that come um, from? Well, um, be, uh, being a zoologist, right? Um, you always see animals portrayed in movies. You see dragons and dinosaurs and all that portrayed in movies. And we're just sort of talking about my most recent book, right? Yeah. The first books are about genetically engineered. People. We'll, we'll talk about. We'll, yeah, we'll, we'll, okay. we'll go dragon we'll, first. Dragon first, okay. and then we'll go okay. backwards. So, um, I remember seeing Jurassic Park, and. And I, I, my reaction to that was the same as Alan Grant's, like fall on the ground. Yeah, They're not because of the physical, but because of the behavioral. They nailed animal. Yeah. Like the way animals think, the way a dinosaur would think. Uh, I think in number two, the dinosaur's running downtown San Diego or something, and he stops and he bites at a car and he bites at the light. And he's like, that's, yes, in my brain, my, my zoologist brain is going, yes that's what he would do that's yeah. exactly what he would do so the authenticity that they brought the attention to detail yeah and and behavioral detail for me because not just physical detail which was incredible but the behavioral detail and the way they think well that, that, that's what that's what i actually loved about the yeah. first movie is you you got to see it. I, again i think they I, i'm sure there was definitely some storytelling licenses there but some of yeah. the but 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 um, I'm not a zoologist. I wouldn't right. know. I wouldn't yeah. know. Just something just feels like contrived. The Velociraptor just something we felt a little. Yes, yeah, well, maybe, it was. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, we felt a little contrived. But there was a scene where 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 I still remember he was driving out in the car and he yeah. met this dinosaur and yeah. he was just looking at him. Yeah. He was like, yeah. "Who are you?" And then he gets sprayed. And yeah. I'm like, yeah. that felt yeah. very that felt very real to yeah. me. It's like yeah. that would be probably yeah. what would happen. It's, it's almost like when you confront a skunk in real in real yes, life. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Uh, walk away, walk away. Too late. Um, so yeah, yeah. Th this last movie, I'm going okay. I love what he's doing with the uh, with the three raptors. Okay, I could see that, you know, because I have three big dogs. You know, I understand animal training, and uh, but the rest of the movie was you know, like it was it was terrible, and it really made me sad because the 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 way the animals were portrayed was we, it was very anthropomorphic, and that we projected on them. The producers, the writers projected human emotions, or this is going to be a bad guy, or we're just going to have a big fight, you know, like like dog fighting or pit fighting, or you know, that's what it was to me, and it was very self-serving, and and it made me very angry, and that made me start to think, what would the animal think? What would this dinosaur think? Watching Game of Thrones and the dragons, it's like, yes, actually, that's probably how these dragons would be. Thank you so much. But then other dragon movies are like, no, there's no psychic bond between you and this animal. This animal does not talk to you in his mind. What would he? How would he think? How would he respond if there was somebody on his back? Well, probably like a horse. Well, let's, I have a horse. Let's, let's think about that. So that's sort of where the, the, the beginning of this novel, the dragon novel, took place. Because you are, it's an autobiography. On an autobiography, the dragon is writing the story. Nice. Yes. So it's like Black Beauty as a war dragon, right? <laughs> so that's what I say. <laughs> That is, that is like the best pitch. I mean, that is I know. a fantastic one, yeah. yeah I know, because everybody knows Black Beauty. Yes. But he's a war dragon. Okay. So, you know, like, what is he thinking during this entire time? What are people to him? Uh, it, uh, yeah. I'm, I'm sorry. I have no song. I'm so pretty. Oh, so pretty. Well, he's yeah. a vain dragon. Yeah, and that yeah. Is a thing. yeah, yeah. He's yeah. beautiful and he knows it. Yeah. He likes to see himself in what they call Silverstone, right? 
looks at himself and you know preens exactly yeah, yeah. preens a little bit and shakes his little you know spines out and yeah he's a vain dragon and yeah. that is a running theme throughout it you know he does things because of his vanity mm. and then he curses himself because of it but you know but well, at least he acknowledges his flaws. he does acknowledge it yes. yeah yeah very good yeah. so so you, this so this is like a fantasy fun concept for you so and then, yeah. and then you went back and the other one you were talking about genetic engineering yes that that's the one um to journey in the year of the tiger uh was the one that started off as a graphic novel mm -hmm. um and it was it was so big i ended up having to split it up into a bunch of different books there's three books right now um and a book of prequels i'm half finished the, fir the fourth book and then five and six so it's a sexology is that what it would be called but, uh, six books. Yes. Yeah. So, that, that, that sounds. Yeah. That sounds. Actually, safer. So I, 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 actually, six books just sounds right. Honestly, when you get yeah. to, when you get when you get to you know sex or set yeah. or yeah. set, yeah. it's just like yeah. I don't. I, when you get to ten, you can go back to hex. That's right. right, right. That's, that's, oh, uh, that's yeah, true. Yeah, right. Very good. When you get yeah. to ten, you can go back yeah. to hex. Yeah. But yeah, until good, until yeah. Yeah. until then, I'm like six books is good. good. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Eh. <laughs> well, eight even eight's awkward. Like it's like ox. Like really. Yeah. Really. Yeah. I'm an octology. Oct yeah, yeah, I'm thinking of a big giant octopus now, and yeah. I don't. I, I just not now. If you have it, unless you have a story about an octopus, which I'm not going to put past you. I, I don't, but I could. I know. <laughs> I'll show you the cover just because, like, this is how the zoology and the Photoshop and, and the art comes in, now, right? You, like, did you do the? Did you I do, did. Oh, I do all wow. my covers. That's, yeah, that's amazing. Like, so you can you you automatically know what this book is about Absolutely. just from looking at the cover. Yeah, I know. Yeah. It's really really good. Yeah. Yeah, I know. And the story is really, really good too. It's my first book, so I could Oh yay! Um I can't trade this. No, 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 no. Because I've got no I've got one person who wants to buy it at the end of the conference no, and I we'll, promised it to her. No, no, I'm But I'm, I'm, I'll buy I'm, this one from you? Yeah, sure. Okay. I, 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 or if you got like if you got the other one, the dragon D D. I do. Yes. Why, why don't we just try that? Do okay. we, yep. Dragon for dragon. Dragon for dragon. That's right. Well, okay. the, well the face, like, yes, folks, this is how writers conduct business at cons. Con. It is, exactly. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah, no, I had, um, because I couldn't bring everything because yeah. I flew and, and it was just too expensive to like pay the air lines to, to ship them up. So I only brought one copy of each that I can put on in front of me when yeah. I do a panel. And yeah. somebody came up and said, <gasps> Can I have this? And, and so I promised it to her. Otherwise, I would totally give it to you. No, no, no. But I did promise it no, to her. Uh, so I actually, actually want to go back and ask you something about that before okay. you before you put the sweat. Okay, I'll just leave it. Would right. you go back to a graphic novel on this at some point uh, down the road? I, I, I would. Um, I might want to hire the pencils out though. Yeah. I, would, I would hire someone to do yeah, the pencils. Yeah. 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 No, it, it's it, it, no, it's fair. No, it just it yeah. just it just. I mean, it just—it just seems to me like considering your background, yeah, yeah. It, it, it's an intriguing opportunity yeah. for you to do it twice. Yeah. And and as you well know, with a graphic novel, it's a different tools. Your name wouldn't be Evelyn. No. No. I'm looking for going somebody on the patio. Oh yeah, no. No. Heather. Heather. I'm Heather. Okay. Okay, so okay, it's all good. <laughs> live podcasts are live, ladies and gentlemen. But it's, no, because it just feels like a, it's an interesting opportunity. Because you have like a really, really, I was reading that you have a really intriguing concept there. Yeah. And that would and that would be really cool to actually see a, a visual, like e even like if you did it on, like at your signings, like if you just did like mm. a, like a poster yep. of like the city of like where they're in, just like something like that. It would be mm. it would see it, see it, see. It. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You're, you're right. Because people would get a real yeah. sense of. Yeah. Also, you get to show off a little bit yeah, too. The that's food, right, yeah. Too, right? Yeah. I mean, after all, you, I mean, that's part of the fun of this. That's right? part of the fun. Exactly. Yeah. You're inviting people to step into your world. Yeah. And the more things that you can do to make that inviting. Yeah, exactly. Is the way. Yeah. yeah no, the way it's, it goes, it's, yeah. it's the way. So, all right. So this is your current one. Yep. Yep. The Dragon of Action Stars. Yep. That's what it's called. That's what it's called. Yeah. So Black Beauty. The Black Beauty is a war dragon. Yeah. It was just fantastic yeah. as a concept. Yeah. So. I think we have actually a pretty fantastic interview here. I think, <laughs> I think so. so. I think we talked a long time. Well, yeah. yeah well, oh, yeah. yeah. Any, any conversation this weekend at all? I, uh, but no, I gotta say, I, I honestly wish I had gotten to actually chat with yeah, you a little yeah. bit more this weekend. Fun, uh, yeah, yeah. But, but don't worry, we're gonna still talk about when we're off the air. But yeah. before we do, yeah. hold on, let me do the magic part here. Okay. You need to tell people where the, where you can be found. Oh, right. Um, well, I do have a website. Um, it's a fairly active website. Um, so www.hlaytondixon.com. Um, I'm on Facebook, very active on Facebook. I tweet. Um, I, I'm, not, uh, I'm not a tweeter goddess. You no, know, no, like, I, uh, I'm not. Yeah. No, no, but it's okay. But what is your Twitter so people know where oh, to um, At hdixon62. Okay, hdixon62. Yeah. Do you have yeah. Instagram? 
No, I wow. don't. I know. I'm I know. shocked. I, as I'm a wife of a photographer. I really should have Instagram. I cannot get my brain around it. I don't know really what I'm supposed to be doing with that. Can so. can 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 I help you right right now? I'll do this sure. right on the air. Yeah. Okay. Instagram. Can I grab my phone? I think. Oh no, or just yeah, 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 I'm gonna okay. talk to you. Too. Okay. Think of Instagram as a. Do you remember the old Saturday morning comics? Oh yes. Do you remember the four yes. panel ones? Yes. Treat it like that. Okay. That's how you should do it. Okay. You take four pictures? Oh no, you just take one picture. Okay. But just imagine you only have one panel. Mm hmm. Right, you have one panel, okay. and you're telling a story with okay. one panel. Interesting. Try it like that. I think for you, in particular, uh, for being very visual. Oh yeah, for you being yeah. very visual, yeah. that would work for you. Because what I do with my Instagram, I have Instagram too. I'm a writer. I don't. Yeah. I like again, my stick figures revolt. That's another story for another yep. day. But that's. But the point is, right? I treat. I use my Instagram for fun. I yep. want to do cons and events. Yep. Yep. I do like yep. I, like I do that. I'll, but also just random cool fun stuff that right. just right. Yeah. that I do, that's yep. me. That's that's my day. You have a you have graphic. Mm. You have a graphic mm -hmm. background. You understand the storytelling yes. of images. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Why not then? That would be smart. Why not then yeah. do that? It gives you a chance to yep. practice a part of your brain mm -hmm. that, that you that 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 you that you probably yeah. don't get the chance to play with as much well, as you yeah, like. I wouldn't think, yeah. That right? But and also it and what because think about this way. Really, what's the difference between having your thought bubbles in the pants <laughs> or true. and and then having them underneath? That's true. Right? Ah so that's the, good, yeah, I like that. Yeah, the, yeah. Yeah. It's I, like a, it's like a comic, like you said. You, yeah, like you, you're drawing a panel in a comic. Yeah, but yeah. except except the, the words are at the bottom of the yeah, page. That's right. Yeah, that's it. No, that's it. Yeah, not, no, you just gave me an image. Like, yeah, right? yeah, yeah, so yeah, I yeah. Really do that. Yeah. 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 So good they, job. Thank you. I'm good at that stuff. What can I say? <laughs> All right. So you will have an Instagram, and she'll give it to me when I, I will. Know, that's when right. Straight, yes. When I go. Yeah. All right. And that, can I help? And that was H. Layton Dixon. I want to thank her very much. She was one of the coolest people I met at the When Words Collide. By accident, I didn't plan on. Uh, having her or meeting her or anything like that, but just one of those people that I was really happy to have met. She also, in my opinion, has the coolest business card on the planet. Zoologist, writer, just kick ass, you know, what can I say? Her current book is Dragon of Ash and Stars. You should check a look at it, but also take a look at some of the stuff she's talking about in her in her books as well. And not in the books in the podcast, because you know, it's it's, it's like whatever. I'm gonna leave this in because I'm okay with being um uh uh you know what it is. I'm actually uh in actually getting this interview i actually know what the bonus content is going to be in my next newsletter haha <laughs> but anyways all that aside um i want to thank h lane dixon um i'm happy that she can come back anytime she wants i was really 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 thrilled to have her and that as they say is that buy my books buy my merch uh subscribe to my newsletter uh tinyletter.com slash jpentelaresco contact me if you want to review craig's latest book um, but whatever you decide to do, pursue your passions, pursue your dreams, pursue what inspires you, um, because those are the things worth li worth living for. Stay inspired out there. All right. See you next time. Josh. Josh.